Sarah Stringer here with 2asuccessstreamblog.com and today I just want to share with you seven quick tips on your YouTube marketing. If you're doing some video training and video marketing, there's just a little quick checklist to make sure you're um, developing your goal for your marketing just to kind of cover your, your bases here. Number one, you know you need to develop a goal. Every video has a goal, it has a strategy that they would like to come across. You know, number two, people are waiting to see you be authentic. You have to show people who you really are. Don't, you know, try to dress up or try to be someone else. It's really not a show. Just let other people see your true self and other people will see you. They will see that they can trust you. Number three, it's okay. Talk about the problems in your videos. People share stories and relate to others. You have to build a rapport with your audience and show some of those struggles. You have to be real. If you don't have any struggles, how are you going to make it real? So everybody has problems. It's okay to share those. Keep, show your frustrations out. Number four, keep it simple. Like, um, these are three aspects of higher rankings. You know, you get some more views. You get likes and our votes. Uh, I think they just changed that. I think you can only like videos now. And comments. That always helps get higher rankings in your YouTube videos. So go ask some friends. Hey, come like my video and, and comment what you think. Just any positive comments that you can, can share. It's okay. You know, if they see the video, they should be able to take action and help you out a little bit. And think about that when you're seeing other videos. You know, how do you um, want to help them out and like their video and give them some feedback? So simple steps that people can follow. Don't just ramble on or people will just move on to the next related video. So example, exactly the right purpose in order for people to take action to the next level. Number five, pattern interrupts in your video really helps keep people focused. You know, people watch TV all the time and quick cuts or change clips every three to seven seconds and that will keep people's attention a lot longer. Their eyes have to blink and see something else. We are used to that change up, you know, when we're watching TV or movies. So why change that process? Keep it, keep it changing and keep it moving. Number six, when putting a video in a pay-per-click campaign. The goal is to keep the video under two minutes, and sometimes that's easy for me because I like to keep things short and to the point. And sometimes a lot of the other people like that too. Number seven, customize or brand the intro and or the ending of your video. You know, develop a call to action to each video and one that creates a brand in the corner of your video as well as make an impact on those learning about your business. So they can see your face, see your little brand of who you are, what you're going to be doing um, in the next video. So make sure you go through these little seven steps and see how it can make an impact on your video marketing. You know, some things I still think I was like, I can do that a little better. Or the little checklist going, how can I add that to this video? So check out one of my channels, youtube.com to a success and I've got some MLM video training on that and um, there's a playlist that will show you some more videos and one of them is different types of videos you can offer your video viewers. I came up with a list of 15 here um, just to kind of get your brain going on different types of videos that you can create. Um, maybe offer a free video series like a boot camp or something. These are always relationship building or professional development. They can be on screen showing your face of your body actions of what you ha can show. Number three, um, so show educational tools. For example, you know, maybe you want to show what social oomph is and how do you use that in Twitter. Or, you know, just tools that you're using that's helping you in your business. Number four, Testimonials key. Everybody loves to help you promote yourself. So get some other people to share exactly why they want you to follow them as well. Number five, a demonstration of something. If you want to show them how to, how-to videos are very hot. People want to know, learn how to do things. It's 
especially through YouTube. They go in there and write search how to do whatever they need to learn. Number six, articles into videos. If you create an article, tell them to go check it out or give them a little feedback of um, this is an article I just created. You need to go check it out. It has some more details that I can't put in video that it's written down there for you to reference. Number seven, PowerPoint into videos. Just like this one, you can do um, lots of different things. Um, you can, I guess, spell that different ways. <laughs> and put your pictures into videos. Oh, this is key. You can use like Animoto or, you know, different picture sites that will go ahead and create a um, flow of videos. You know, you see that popular in different main videos and parties and stuff. And that's very and entertaining, right? Number nine, books, sum summaries into videos. If you just read a book and you're excited about it and you want to tell people about what you got out of it, just to kind of key them and you got to check out this book too. Number ten, event reviews. If you've just been to an event or you're at an event, you got to share people what you learned from it, who you're meeting, key videos right there. Number eleven, company reviews. Some people are looking at different companies to join or different things to look into and um, great great tips on making videos like that. Number 12, marketing tool reviews. There's so many marketing tools out there and how they are helping other people and why you need them. They help them decide if they need that in, the, in your business. Number 13, interviews. Key on experts. You need to find other experts and what they have expertise in and share um, tools for your viewers as well. Number 14, props and videos. This is always fun. People change it up and make another tips into um, really powerful props, hats. Um, oh, it can be fun. <laughs> Number 15, locations for videos. I've seen people go into fancy parks or beautiful scenery, amazing places, and you can even do those in backdrops and stuff now. Um, so locations is kind of fun. So connect with me on my blog there. I'll have a few more tips of types of video equipment that you want to use to show yourself. Um, these are all um, filming from yourself for videos. You know, now you can even use it on your phone. A uh, flip camera, a web camera, um, there's a microphone there that's recommended. I got that um, little mic set from Traffic Guys who recommends that for their videos. Just that little audio tech -a. So write that down and um, I can send you the link if you need to. Just get into Amazon or something like that. And then video editing tools you can use for on-screen videos. And Mac you have iMovie, Windows you have I Windows Movie Maker. You can use Camtasia. Um, and there's tons of training on editing videos through MLMLeanSuccessPro.com. We have tons of training exactly on how to do videos, um, down to what to use in your videos, and step by step on everything you need to learn, basically, in there. And so check out my channel on here, youtube.com, got another one, Alicia Stringer, and you can check out the video marketing, and I've explained a few more video tools in there, so I'll show you the, the link for that as well. So tons of training on there that you can get. And really, the whole point is just go do it. You know, there, it, it can be simple as just a little PowerPoint, little picture, just make tons of videos and showcase your business and yourself and showcase others too. People will give you feedback and it's win-win situation on creating that. So go have fun. Talk to you soon. Bye.